this was this was that was offside. Yeah. That one, so yes. uh, uh, lucky for you. Yes, that <laughs> was lucky. Yeah, yeah. We uh, scored pretty early on in the game, Did so you? which was it was nice. It's a lot, you know, settled us down. We we coming up to play a Super League side, so we were always you know pretty quietly confident um, with with our form and going into the season. So. Uh, it was it was a good game for us, and the the pitch was a little bit heavy as well, yeah. so it was lucky there was no rain. Well, I mean, Jim's keenness didn't last that long, about twenty minutes with his groin injury. So um... yeah, he he's just come back into the squad, um, and he was he was looking quite well. You know, he's a very smart player. You know, he's got a, a good head on his shoulders, and it was just unfortunate he uh, sort of hurt himself. So, um, yeah, he'll be out for a few weeks now, so. Now we're just coming up here to the goal that's uh, uh, going to be scored. Now there's great work by Peter Wayne. He's been integral in your side. Uh, he just does some fantastic work. And of course, uh, Tyson was there again to pick up the, the crumbs and, and be able to slot that ball through. Yeah, Pete, Pete's been working hard. Um, you know, he's just a freak really, you know. Mm, for he is the, uh, the age of the uh, young man, I can say. Um, but. You know, the work rate from Pete is unreal and Tyson's just been on fire. Um, but basically the whole team has really gelled well and, you know, Pete's got us playing some good football, you know, and, that, and that's, I think, what we're trying to um, keep in our, our game is to keep playing the football and, you know, don't rush. Things will work and stay to the game plan. Now, Peter Wayne gets injured here when, in a... In a, in a <laughs> contest with um, Dan Atkins, the keeper from uh, Adelaide Hills and, you know, true to the name, the trooper that he is, he gets back up and he continues on and didn't miss a beat. And at one stage I had to think, where, where, what position is he playing? Because he was well over, all over the pitch. Yeah, no, he was playing up front and if he didn't get up, we would have called him soft anyway, so, <laughs> you know, just... Uh, no time to be laying on the ground. No, get up he, and let's he, get on with it. Yeah, he has. He has. Uh, I think the standout. Uh, well, definitely yourself, Peter, Tyson, uh, a couple of others have really stood out in the team over the last uh, eight rounds, and and it shows with your results. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, Brett Zelga there. He um, he played really well in the middle of the park, and like you say, the, the whole team. There's not really one person in the team that's not been playing bad, you know, and everyone's there jeering everyone up and, you know, gets them over the line, so uh, there's a good vibe around the club which is uh, good and the results are going our way. Now, you, at times during the match you did have uh, Adelaide Hills rattled, uh, they were able to get in in, uh, in moments in, in back into the match, uh, but uh, you guys were able to rub them out and, and get the momentum going again for yourselves and uh, and maintain that lead of 2-1? Yeah, I think uh, they, they just started to try and play the long ball, which was, you know, wasn't working for them. As I said before, I, I was cleaning up most of them that come over the top as well. So, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was a good game for us, basically. It, re it really was a good test from where we sit, being state league, yeah. so, um, and hopefully it will open up some eyes and, you know, we might meet one of these guys or... Sorry, yeah, Jack, well, we have, you, got, but. we have got the draw coming up. We haven't got the venues, but we have got the draw coming up. Um, and I have to say that uh, uh, it quite often does happen is that when you have got a very strong yeah. midfielder, your, your opposition do tend to bypass that midfield with the long ball, but unless you've got uh, strikers like uh, Jason Tromboli or, or Damien Murray, they are able to get onto these balls and slot them in. Really, it, you've got no chance with the long ball game. Yeah, well, they try to play in, uh, I think it's uh, Elliot, is it? Yeah, you know, no, he's, yeah. He's been scoring a lot of their goals and, and they look to him and we, we shut him out pretty well, you know, he didn't really have a, a lot there. T so it was, it was just an all in all good effort for the whole team. So we were very pleased with the result. Now, of course, your lad here getting injured with an another con uh, contest with uh, Dan Atkins, so he uh, was well in really <laughs> doing his bit, bit for the for his side. But uh, and I had a look at his eye afterwards. Now, what was that young lad's name? Do you know his name? Uh, Nathan, the young name. Nathan. Yeah, yeah he's he's uh, been breaking into the side. So yeah. the young lad from the reserves, and 
and scoring a few goals for the reserves. So, you know, he's he's got his chance to play in the first team. So he's he's done really well, and you know, he, he gets out there and tries hard, and that's all all that we ask for. Now, brilliant save there. I mean, what reflexes? <laughs> what reflexes? Yeah, that one was. Uh, <laughs> I could have had the uh, egg on my face with that one because <laughs> you could have. It was uh, right at the end. It sort of like just swerved. I was going for just an easy grab, and then the ball just went the opposite way. And I was like, hopefully it hits me in the middle of the legs. Yeah, well, it did, and that was uh, you did. I mean, you did, as you, as I said, you did keep yourselves in, in the game and and were able to um, maintain that two one lead. Um, look, I thought it was uh, it was a it was a really tough match. Um, but you guys have been doing very well in the Cup over the last two years. I mean, last year you got to the semi-finals only to be ousted by Adelaide City in a 1-0 uh, win only. So, uh, you, again, you, you're continuing on with your uh, Cup uh, success, not only in the State League with your success, but also in the Cup. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how you go in the quarterfinals. Yeah, well, we, we're not there just to make up the numbers, you know, just being a State League side. So we, we want to make the final, you know, and... Uh, Every game that goes on, it's a bonus for us. So, yeah, we just take every game as it comes. And we've got, I think we've got either Pirates or NAB in the next round. Yeah. So it's, it's worked out for a nice draw for us. And it we're is. at home, so we haven't uh, played at home yet. We've had to travel to uh, Mount Gambier and Port Perry and all yeah. these places. So it'd be nice to have one at home. Yeah, it will be nice. And let's have a look at those fixtures uh, for the quarterfinals. We don't have the venues as yet, but we do have... Um, who the teams are playing and of course uh, Les you're up against White City Woodville uh, another tough uh, Premier League side they went down uh, from last year from the Super League so they're still quality uh, a quality side so you're up against these guys oh, in the quarterfinals they'll definitely be a tough opposition and no guarantees there no so. no definitely and then we've got Adelaide City uh, up against Metro Stars now that's uh, rubbing one of the giants out there and that's going to be a massive match that one so uh, can't wait to see that one of course, as you uh, said, Ian Enfield is up against either Pirates or NAB and that game will be played on the 8th of June, so we'll find out what happens there. And these quarterfinals uh, are going to be played on the 27th of June, so again, it's going to be an interesting uh, round of the Cup. And of course, Croydon are taking on Cumberland or Seaford, which whoever wins out of that match. So again, uh, some interesting mm. matches there. and. Well, you never know, uh, Ian. You might be able to continue on and uh, meet uh, Les here. Yeah, well, that's uh, let's say yeah. probably one of the tallest keepers and the shortest keepers face off. Yeah, so well, that'd be good. I'll, I'll have to have the cameras down at that <laughs> match. Uh, look, we're going to take a short break and we're going to be back with uh, the Super League and the Premier League and see what's happening uh, in round nine. So stick with us because you're watching Full On Football. Here we go.